Of the more than 150 victims killed in that crash have deep connections to the D.C. area. One was a Georgetown chaplain and student, the other a communications expert for the World Bank. Close friends say both were fighting to change the world. Here's Stephanie Ramirez. Who did the world just lose? Oh my God, like literally a titan, like a future legal scholar championing African issues, you know, focused on the most vulnerable populations in East Africa. Those were Nicole Foster's words for her close friend, 32-year-old Cedric Asiabukwa. Georgetown University tells us he was a third-year student and chaplain dedicated to the Jesuit education. As a member of the school's ministry, he was also very close with the Muslim Law Students Association president, Nicole Foster. I remember the last conversation I had with him, um, he was joking as to whether he was going to get an invitation to my, my wedding. Monday, the World Bank, which is headquartered in D.C., confirmed 35-year-old Max Edkins was also killed in that same crash. Edkinson's colleagues say the 35-year-old spent the last six years as a communications officer for the bank's Connect for Climate program, a platform that advocates for climate action. When you look at the horrific images coming out of the crash site, it's, it's unfathomable to think what happened and what were those final moments? Asiya Bukwa was on his way to bury his fiance's mother. Edkins had posted his next destination to Twitter. I'm told Edkins died on his way to a United Nations Environment Assembly and One Planet Summit in Nairobi, Kenya. From downtown D.C., Stephanie Ramirez, WUSA 9.